In this video, I'm going to cover installing Shadow Protect MSP version 5. You can download it from msp.storagecraft.com. The links are down here at the bottom Shadow Protect for Managed Surface Providers and Image Manager 6. Once you have downloaded it, you can extract the zip file to get the exe and double click to run. Select your language. accept the license agreement. If you would like a trial license or to become an MSP partner, you can contact storagecraft.com. You can do complete to install uh, all of the options. I like to do custom. I'll explain those options here in a second. Here's where it is going to install to. Uh, that path is okay. doesn't need to be changed. Here are the options that um, a complete install will will use the management console uh, I like to put on one place in a network uh, that way it keeps everything organized and connects to all of the backup agents and you just you can configure everything from one spot uh, it can be an SBS server or it can be a vCenter server or uh, if you have a management server uh, or a dedicated backup server it's a good place for the management console the backup agent is the program that is run on each server. It's independent of the management console. So if the management console is not running or that machine is offline, your backups will still run as scheduled. Everything is is configured on each computer using the backup agent. The snapshot driver is a kernel level driver that injects itself in the I.O. stack and keeps track of sector changes to the disk and saves those to its internal incremental tracking file. The mount services allow you to uh, full mount or quick mount your backup chain. Uh, quick mount just mounts it as the next available drive letter. Full mount allows you to write changes to the backup chain as a new incremental. So if you need to do a restore and you had disk corruption, you can mount that, do a check disk, save it as a new incremental, and then do your restore from that incremental. ISO tool is a utility that allows you to create ISOs using raw files, or if you want to rip a CD or DVD, uh, it will allow you to do that. Uh, you can also burn an ISO to that media CD, DVD to save those. Virtual Boot is StorageCraft's implementation of Sun's VirtualBox. Uh, it allows you to virtualize your backup chain in a matter of minutes. Yeah, it doesn't need to convert those to a new file. So you can, you can do a test on your server. You can boot that to a virtual environment within a few minutes just to, to make sure that your backup chain is good and everything is working. Uh, in case of a disaster recovery, you can be assured that it's going to work as expected. ImageReady is a new tool as of December of 2012. It allows you to automatically schedule check disks or any custom scripts you might want to run against a backup chain. It'll mount the backup chain and, and do those and send you the results. The SP Diagnostic tool uh, just allows you to pre-install the diagnostic tool that tech support will have you use in case of a, a troubleshooting need. Um, I usually don't don't install that. I usually don't install ISO tool as a as a general rule. I click next, install. The first time you install Shadow Protect, uh, it will require a reboot if you're wanting to um, take incremental backup images. Uh, if you just want to take a full image, it doesn't require a reboot. Uh, if you're upgrading Shadow Protect to a new version, then it does not require a reboot immediately. It will continue to use the existing kernel driver. Then once you reboot, it will uh, install the latest kernel driver. I usually don't reboot um, you can configure a backup job, you can add destinations, pretty much everything except take a backup until the reboot, and then you can schedule the reboot for a later time uh, when it's more convenient. 
but you can do everything prior to the reboot that you can after. And that's how you install Shadow Protect MSP5.